All right, I wanted to show you a really fun technique for uh, connecting components together. Uh, those of us who don't do a lot of PC boards uh, need some way to tie components together. And what I've been doing recently, and actually for quite some time, but really recently I've, I've been doing a lot more of it, is wire wrapping. Now wire wrapping is a way that they used to put like mainframe computers together and all that kind of stuff. It's been around for a really long time. Very few people do it nowadays and a lot of people have never even heard of it. So that's why I thought I'd do this video. This is just an ESP32. It's just, it's just an easy way to show you because it's got pins on it. But in order to do this, you need a wire wrapping tool. This is one that I've had for a really long time. Uh, this is one that I just bought so that I could show you one that you can actually purchase. And then this is some 30 gauge wire. So these wire wrapping tools come for certain gauges of wire. And the 30 gauge wire uh, works really well for these type of components. I will list everything you're gonna need in the description in case you're interested. All right, so first let's get a wire ready. Now these are the 30 gauge wires and this one actually comes with a little wire stripper there. Let me show you how you just, well that one's already stripped. So you just stick it in there and you actually need quite a bit of wire. Stick it in that little hole and then stick it out the back and then just push it down a little bit and pull it and it'll slide that right off. But I'll tell you the easiest way to do this is just to grab it with your fingernail like that, put it against your thumb and pull and it'll strip it for you. That's what I do. Okay, so then what you've got to do is you have to thread it into your wire wrapping tool. So there's a tiny little hole on the inside right there. There's two holes. There's a tiny little hole for the wire and then there's a, a hole for the post. And so we have to put this in that tiny little hole for the wire and you can see it coming out the top. And you're gonna stick it up there until the insulation stops. All right, then we're gonna take our post and you slide it on there like that hold your wire in place and then you just twist it and you'll feel when the wire is finished twisting on there and there we are we're twisted on there's the wire twisted on there these stay on there really well I've never had one come loose uh, you know as you move stuff around you'll fatigue the wire and it'll break off but you know it does that even when you uh, solder them in place but you can see there's probably uh, four wraps on there and so that's why you need that wire to be pretty long all right let's do another one so we just pull off some insulation let's use this older tool it's my favorite I've had it around forever you just slide it up on there then pick your post that you need to put it on. Now this one, actually the hole's bigger and it, it'll sneak up on there for me. All right, and let's slide it up on there. Hold on to your wire and then give it a twist. And there you go. It's on there nice and tight. You can see there, I've got just a little bit of the insulation wrapped around there. That's a good idea because it keeps you, you don't want bare wire sticking out that's gonna wrap, you know, as you move it around and hit maybe another pin. So having a little bit of the insulation wrapped around there is a good idea, but you can see those are on there snug. They're not, they're not gonna come off. You can see it broke off. It didn't un unwind itself off of there. Usually you can grab it with something and pull them off like that to get them to come loose. But then my component, it's just like it was when I started and I can stick this, I can still stick this into a terminal block or something like that. So for prototyping, it's really good, but a lot of times I'll go ahead and put this together and then I just use it that way. And I don't ever have to uh, solder everything on. You can come back and solder them in place. They're all sitting there uh, held on really well. But in the old, when they used to wire wrap in the mainframe computers and all that kind of stuff, they didn't ever solder that stuff. Again, check the description for, I'll have some wire and some uh, this tool in there for you. Hope this was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.